What's going on everybody? My name is Jess Farner and I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Specialized Air Tool Sport. Now the Air Tool definitely looks like some bog standard track pump you're going to find at Home Depot or Walmart, but it definitely isn't and there's a few key reasons why which I'll get into now. Now being a specialized product, it definitely isn't something cheap. It, they start from about $50 and I've seen them go up to about $65, generally between that range. And I think a pretty decent competitor for the Air Tool Sport is the Topic Joblo Air Sport. And I think this one carries a few advantages over the Joblo, which I'll get into now. And then a few grievances why I think this one may not be something you like. So first thing I like about this pump is its construction. It's an all steel construction with a few plastic bits and bobs here like the pump head, the pump handle and the gauge flange is plastic but the rest of the pump is steel and the barrel is brass as far as I know or at least as what I can gather from specialized website. Uh, the pump itself doesn't feel like something that's going to break like the construction of this thing is really something attractive about it and inspires a lot of confidence in it. Um, it feels, it feels, it definitely feels like a pump that's going to last a lifetime or it will outlast at least the few bikes you're going to use, use it on. Second advantage I like, if you can even, if I can even get it in the frame here, you can see it has this massively long hose and I think the, okay, well the pump head, I kind of want to put that as well with the hose. Having such a long hose means it's very versatile in reaching places on a bike you don't always have to stand on a certain side of your bike if you want to pump up a wheel then getting to the pump head it's a uh like the topeak pump it's a dual head so you don't have to swap any internals to um pump shader or press the valves it just presses on you flick open the lever like with most pumps and then just pump up your weight but the thing I like about this head specifically is it releases very, very easily. Like a pump, a problem with some pumps is the head will go on fine and the pump will work great. It's just when you try to remove the head, it feels like you're bending the valve or you're going to damage the valve core when taking the head off. And this is something I really, really dislike because messing up a valve at the start of the ride is really a way to ruin your day. And this thing releases so easy, it doesn't ever feel like you're going to have that issue. Now, something else I want to talk about is the ergonomics of this pump. Like the handle, it's shaped. So like most uh, track pumps have a like very symmetrical handle, so you can use it either way. But this one is definitely one-sided. You can only use it one way. And the thing I like about this is, is it's molded to your hands. So once you use it, it's very, the whole pump to use is very comfortable and ergonomic is the best word to use, I guess. But it feels, it feels nice to use, like pumping up a tire feels purposeful and enjoyable off, if I can word it like that. Okay, now two things I dislike about this pump. Um, at the top here, if you have one, you'll read 326 cc and that refers to the volume of air it pumps with each single stroke of the um, pump head and 326 cc isn't a lot it's like it's slightly less than the Joe Blow will give you and it's I think it's slightly less than most pumps will give you that you buy out of a store and it's a little bit annoying but it isn't it hasn't put me off of using the pump uh, it just it just means that you might have to do one or two extra strokes to get up to your pressure if you have larger tires on mountain bikes for example 2.4s or 2.5s on a road bike this wouldn't even bother you slightly but it's something to take note of something else that bothers me slightly is this gauge the dial on this gauge is fairly small it, it doesn't really bother me but i think some people might see it as a hindrance and it's worth noting it's like it's like a general other one it goes up from 20 to 160 so for road or mtb it's fine but the small size could maybe annoy some people it also has this like rotating thing where you can rotate this red dial onto your ideal pressure if so it's just easy to see where the needle lines up with that now is the pump good value for money in my opinion it is 
it's a very very solid thing and it's even though it's a small price to pay like 50 bucks it's not it's not that much and it's an investment because the pump is going to last you a long time i mean if you don't abuse it or do stupid stuff with it it's going to last you a very very long time but it does have a cousin which is the air tool pro i think that may be the name but for instance if you're just looking at specialized pumps i wouldn't get the pro because it's three times or it's actually above three times the price of this thing i think it's above 150 dollars for that thing and it is awesome it's got a whole stainless steel construction i think the handle's also still stainless steel the hose looks to be the same length to me i didn't triple check this but the hose and the head looks to be the same it has like a chrome lever on it but i think the pump head itself is the same thing um and stroke wise volume wise it has i think about 35 or 34 cc's more air volume per stroke which isn't a lot like if you put the two pumps next to each other and you pump up a tire you'll be very hard pressed to see a difference there so in terms of money i think this thing is excellent value for money and i think over the the Topi Joblo Sport is an awesome pump but it has like it has a plastic foot and this one has a steel one it ha it doesn't have as long a hose for example it has a bigger air gauge but the air gauge isn't as important to me as something like a long hose or the construction and something with a toe peak as well is the head it isn't as easy to use as this one which is probably why I'd say the quick release head of this thing is probably my favorite feature all in all I love this pump and I'd recommend it to anybody who's looking to buy a pump for about 60 bucks